Hi everyone, welcome back to Linda Libra Luca. My name is Erin and I'm passionate about sharing beauty tips and tricks for people with more mature skin. And today is another one of my series of wearable makeup trends 2019, in which I try to incorporate things that I have seen on the runway and in the magazines and translate it to my everyday life with office playground and this kind of stuff. And today's look is graphic liner and the color green both mixed in together. So without further ado, let me zoom you in and I hope you enjoy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use this shadow here, which is just a basic gray color on a flat brush. It's called All Races by MAC, but yeah, any color will do and just use it to even out the eyelids. My eyelids have a lot of veins, so I need one of these barely there colors to make things appear even, especially if I wear color. Next up, I'm going to reach for a green liner. This one is from Line and Grow, and it's a tinted lash enhancer in the color Olive. A gel liner would be perfect, but I only have this one, and I don't know if you're able to tell, the brush the tip is really really long, much too long to work with it, so I'm going to go in with one of these brushes, this is an angled brow brush, and apply from the liner to this brush, because it just gives me much more control. And then I'm using this stiff brush and trace out the liner, and I'm going to start where my crease comes down, and stamp it on to my lash line. And the fact that this brush is so stiff gives me really good control. So I can get a precise and almost even line. Then I'm going to take the same brush and just draw a line to the inner third, to almost where the pupil starts. So I'm not going all the way in, I'm not doing a whole line, I'm just going up till there to keep the focus on the outer part of the eye. And instead of leaving it this like a just thin wing, I'm going to connect these two to make it a triangular shape. So if you look down, you can see that this is a triangular line. It's really, yeah, edgy because it has edges, it's not your soft wing. And as you can see that the liner stops around here, it just disappears into the lash line, which differentiates this kind of liner from the usual one that I would do that follows the shape of the lash line and it gives just a more graphic look to the eye. Now because St. Patrick's Day is coming up and I want a little more color, you really can't tell that this is a green one, I'm going in with this color, it's just a shimmery lighter green, on a fluffy brush, just a little bit, and use that along my crease. Just a dusting for some hint of greenness and really feathered out, no harsh lines, which is why I use this brush, because it blends on the go. So you just get a faint impression of the green without being too in your face. Now in with mascara, the Milk Makeup Ubame mascara because it gives a ton of volume and length and really fluttery fluffy lashes. And to keep the rest of the face neutral I'm going in with one of these. This is the Pixie Shea Butter Lip Balm in the color Sweet Peach and it just gives a hint of color in the peach and it's really moisturizing, which I still need at this time of the year. A little bit of sheen and looks very natural. And there you go, this is the finished look. I think this is a way to wear green and edgy liner, more edgy liner in your everyday life. Obviously not if you're usually not wearing any makeup at all, but for someone like me, I would love to see if you give this look a go. Please, if you do, tag me in your pictures, send them to me on social media. Don't forget to like, subscribe so you don't miss any other uploads, and I'm going to see you all very soon with another video. Bye!